Ryan was one of those friends that it was gonna be a brother for life from the second I met him. It was just something that was gonna last a lifetime. I had the opportunity to watch JJ and Ryan play youth ball. You saw the bond. They had a solid relationship before even entering high school. Great school football. I was looking for a new home. Tim Racky actually he goes, Herb, yeah, go go play with Jimmy. I'm like, really? Who's who's Jimmy? I get a call from Herb Keeler. We want to come over and play with your program. It was a perfect match for us. Ryan goes out, we get it off. Eighth grade when it started mature, and then freshman year, boom. They were together the whole time. And then the off-season workouts. They were the two that just pushed, pushed, pushed. What's the next ceiling, Coach Racky? What's the next level? Where can we go? What do we need to do to go to the next level? Once we got into high school together, that's where we really started, you know, iron sharpens iron mentality. When the recruiting took off, Jay's took off a little earlier, then Ryan's took off. I was trying to get Ryan to Michigan with me, but he fell in love with Rutgers. During the 2021 season versus Rutgers here at Michigan, that was like a game that was circled on my schedule. Just being ready to see him go take a picture after the game and all that. But he didn't travel because of injury. Then he transferred. Ryan was in this transformational process. He calls me up. He's like, Dad, think about leaving. I'm like, you only been there a year. I'm like, okay, what's your plan B? UNLV. As soon as he transferred from Rutgers. I go, Herb and I, see week two. Playing UNLV, that was super exciting for me because he was actually gonna play and we were just gonna go at it. Him and Jay were talking back and forth. He's like, I'm gonna hit you a few times in the game. He goes, but I'm, you know, be gentle, not, nothing hard. You're my buddy. They knew that day was gonna come and they couldn't wait to play against each other. They were ready for that game. And I think more importantly, they're ready for the picture after the game. I was in my garage and Herb called me crying. It's kind of blurry. But it was utter disbelief. It was crushing. It was suffocating. Herb calls. You know, I think it's going to be a happy, jovial conversation. <laughs> Jimmy Ryan's dead. <laughs> what? 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 Like, you can't even imagine that. It's the worst thing anyone, I can, you could only imagine as maybe you lose your child. We always talked at a certain time every day. My wife would text him, I text him, he wasn't answering or calling. No answer. Look for his location. And he's in his room. I'm like, well, he's got to be there. We had a friend of his number and we contacted him. And ultimately, over some time, you know, they uh, discovered Ryan uh, passed away in his room, in his bed. And it was uh, <sighs> it's horrible. Jay was at practice. I wanted to be the one to tell him. As a dad to his son, I don't want him to find out any other way. JJ called me back and he said, Dad, what's wrong? What happened? Yeah, he just told me that Ryan passed away. Uh, like when I heard those words right there, I just, you know, just started breaking down. He took it incredibly hard, like a brother, 
I mean, you know, I mean, they were that tight. It brings back all of those memories that helped develop him to who he is. Brian was right there with him the whole way from eighth grade on all the way through. They stuck together through thick and thin. So when you lose that, that was the hardest time when JG found out. I've not seen his parents or been able to talk to them face to face, but I have texted Ryan's dad. It was the day of his funeral. Hey, Mr. Keeler. I can express how deeply sorry I am for your family's loss. Although it was way, way too short, your son changed the lives of so many others in the most positive way someone can. Ryan was one of the most genuine, pure souls I've ever had the honor to call one of my best friends and brother for life. I love you, Mr. Keeler, and send him my deepest condolences to you and your family. That's tough. We love you, buddy. Ryan's still with you, too. <laughs> He's with us all. He's here. He's here in our hearts. And uh, when you're having one of the moments, just think back to a happy time with your guys. And let that anxiety melt away. We talked about going into that game. I know this game is so special because you and Ryan were so close. He goes, I got to figure it out. I, I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, instead of the smiley face that day, I'm going to put a 47. I just wanted to write his jersey number, number 47, on my hand because that was just a reminder to me that this game was for him. I said, it's awesome. I mean, it's going to have a whole different meaning for you, that game specifically. Like, I, I, you don't have to do that yet. You know, it's we're, it's good. And he's like, no, hard because he's been taking this really hard. I watched the first half of the game. I was like, okay, Jay's having a pretty good game. This is, you know, it's pretty special. And then pass. JJ McCarthy and Ryan Keeler, they've been playing ball together since they were seven years old. The Keeler and McCarthy families were so looking forward to this game before the tragic passing of Ryan. And he got a little bit choked up talking to us yesterday about losing his buddy. And pressures, he throws and completes it on the run. Roman Wilson down the sideline. Just like that, with 47 on one hand, he rifles it to his favorite target with the other and a 47-yard touchdown. A 47 Yard touchdown. Unbelievable. Think about it. All of a sudden, I look down on my phone. Text message, text message, this. That was a 47-yard touchdown. Coach Harbaugh texted me. He goes, do you realize? Like, that was a 47. They're talking about it online. Like, put this together. My wife and I see it and I cried for hours. JJ might not know it now, but sometime he's going to see a stat sheet and see Ryan Keeler's number in his head and on his wrists and in the end zone to Roman Wilson. I didn't find out until I was in the hallway walking to media. My heart just dropped. First thing my girl said to me, she was like, dang, Ryan really popped in and said, what's up? Once he said that, I just started breaking down again because it, he really did. I had told Jimmy, I said, you just tell him now that he had this special moment that anytime he feels that weight on his chest or his back, just step away, just breathe, think of that moment, and it'll melt it away. Yeah, yeah of course, bro. Hey, for real, dog. Hey, that's the luck the rest of you, all right? The gratitude I have every single day. The appreciation for just life in general has gone up tremendously. It was just such a surreal moment. It's going to be one of the most memorable moments of my career. And anyone who's a believer that saw that moment knows, like, oh, wow, that was bigger than football. It was bigger than football. Yeah. It was bigger than football. <laughs>